Hello, everybody. My name is Buzzer. And I'm Sparky. Get ready for fun, because you've just joined the, the Bed Bug Bible, Bible Gang. We are the bed bugs and we like to fly and float and dance and sing. We thank the Lord for everything. We have six legs and we have wings. We are the bed bugs and we like to zip and zoom and say our prayers. We like to climb a lot of stairs. We have antenna in our hair. We are the bed bugs. And we like to tell you stories from the Bible. We are the bed bugs. And we can't wait to tell you stories from the Bible. And we like to pray and praise and eat meringue And if you like the song we sang You're in the Bed Bug Bible Gang Gang Ding diddle ding 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 Sparky, do you know what today's show is about? Yes, I do, Buzzer. Today's show is called Positively Peter. So I'm positive it's about Peter. That's positively correct, Sparky. We're going to learn about a friend of Jesus named Peter. Not everything in Peter's story is quite so positive, though, as we'll find out in our first story. It's called Peter's Problem. The twelve disciples joined the Lord for dinner in a room. It was to be a happy night, or so they all assumed. This looks delicious. Hey, pass the rolls. But they were in for quite a shock when Jesus passed the bread. There's someone in this room who will betray me, Jesus said. What does betray mean? I don't know, but it can't be good. From every seat there came a shout, Please tell us, Jesus, who? Who dare do such an awful thing and turn his back on you? Who would want to hurt Jesus? Someone in this room. And Peter shouted louder still and proudly as can be, I'll always follow Jesus, so I know it isn't me. You tell him, Peter. Peter sure sounds positive. But Peter had a problem which the Lord already knew. So Jesus said, you'll leave me, Pete, before the night is through. Peter will leave Jesus tonight? That is not true, said Peter. I would never leave your side. I love you, Jesus, very much, and that can't be denied. Peter says he'll stay. That's not what Jesus thinks. But Jesus told him once again, before the rooster calls, you'll say three separate times that you do not know me at all. What would make Peter say that? I like to say I know Jesus. When they were finished eating, Jesus led them out to pray, and while he prayed, some soldiers came and took the Lord away. Eek! Soldiers! They're taking Jesus! Help! Help! Did Peter follow faithfully to where the soldiers led? No, Peter sadly ran away, just as the Lord had said. There goes Peter! He's afraid of the soldiers, too! Three people saw him as he ran. That's Jesus' friend, they say. But Peter says to each of them, He's not my friend. No way. Oh, no. Peter said he doesn't know Jesus. Jesus was right all along. Just then he heard the rooster crow, and Peter started crying, for Jesus knew what he would do. Of that, there's no denying. Poor Peter. He feels all alone. Sticking with Jesus is always the thing to do. Oh dear, Peter's story isn't very positive at all. That's true, Sparky. Peter was positive he'd stay with Jesus, but then he got a little frightened. But don't worry, Sparky, Peter's story isn't over yet. Well, I promise not to leave till the end, Buzzer. Until then, let's sing a song about Peter's problem. When Jesus ate with his disciples, he shared wine and bread. When I leave tonight, you'll be filled with fright. And you're all gonna leave me, Jesus said. Oh yeah, you're all gonna leave me, Jesus said. But Peter said to Jesus, I'll never leave your side. Jesus said, not true, you will leave me too. You'll say you don't know me three times. Oh yeah, you'll say you don't know me three times. The soldiers came to take Jesus, and Peter ran away. 
When the folks ask him, are you Jesus' friend? Poor Peter says, no way, oh yeah. Poor Peter says, no way. And when he hears the rooster crowing, Peter starts to cry. For the Lord did know that his friends would go. That's a fact that Peter can't deny. Oh yeah, that's a fact that Peter can't deny. When Jesus ate with his disciples, he shared wine and bread. When I leave tonight, you'll be filled with fright. And you're all gonna leave me, Jesus said. Oh yeah, you're all gonna leave me, Jesus said. But Peter said to Jesus, I'll never leave your side. Jesus said, not true, you will leave me too. You'll say you don't know me three times, oh yeah. You'll say you don't know me three times. The soldiers came to take Jesus, and poor Peter ran away. When the folks asked him, are you Jesus' friend? Poor Peter says, no way, oh yeah. Poor Peter says, no way. And when he hears the rooster crowing, Peter starts to cry. For the Lord did know that his friends would go. That's a fact that Peter can't deny. Oh yeah, that's a fact that Peter can't deny. Good job. That song sure told a sad story, but I'm positive that we haven't heard the last of Peter. I think that sounds positively peachy. <laughs> yep. Can you match up these pictures from the Peter's problem story? We can start with this picture of the bread that Jesus passed to his friends. Where's this bread's match? There it is. The matching loaf is right over here. Now, can you find a match for this picture of Jesus? That's right. You found the matching picture right here. Now, Look for the match for this picture of Peter. Oh, you found it. Peter's match is right here. Now, look at this picture of the soldier who led Jesus away. Where is the match? There's the matching soldier. Just one more to find. Can you see the match for this crowing rooster? Cock-a-doodle-doo! Found it. Great job, guys. So, Sparky, are you ready to find out what happened to our good friend Peter? Yeah, I'm about ready for Peter's story to start all over again. Well, that's positively perfect, Sparky, because our next Peter story is called Peter's New Start. Well, let's get started. On the day that Jesus died, Peter felt so very sad. He had run away to hide. He was sorry that he had. Peter still feels sad. He misses his friend Jesus. On the day that Jesus rose, Peter runs and jumps for joy. To the empty tomb he goes. Christ is risen, boy oh boy. Now Peter is happy. Now everybody is happy. In a house that very day, Jesus visits with his friends. Peter and the others say, We have seen the Lord again. Peter is glad to be near Jesus. He won't run away anymore. On a day soon after that, Peter sailed upon the sea to a beach where Jesus sat. Jesus said, Come eat with me. Hey, there's Jesus. Sup, it smells yummy. In the water, Peter splished. He swam quickly to the shore. Jesus made a meal of fish. Peter gladly joined the Lord. Wow, Jesus made breakfast. Have a seat, Pete. On the beach, the Savior asked, Peter, do you love me true? Peter answered, sure and fast. Yes, dear Jesus, yes, I do. Good answer. Jesus asked him two more times, Peter, do you love me, friend? Yes, Lord, Peter gladly chimes. I will love you till the end. I love to say I love Jesus. With a smile, the Savior said, Peter, take my lambs and lead. Feed my sheep, but not with bread. Love from God is what they need. I am Jesus' little lamb. All of us are Jesus' lambs. Peter knew that very day 
Jesus had forgiven him. For the times he ran away, Peter felt alive again. Jesus forgives Peter. Jesus forgives us all. From that day, I'm glad to tell, Pete led people to the Lord. You can feed God's sheep as well every time you share God's word. Lead the way, Peter. All this talk of food makes me hungry. Hungry for God's word. That was one super seaside story. It's great to hear that Peter will follow Jesus every day. And it's even greater to know that Jesus forgives Peter's mistakes. And Jesus forgives all our mistakes too, right Buzzer? <laughs> Positively, Sparky. <laughs> Thanks, Buzzer. Can you find the hidden sheep in this picture of Peter and Jesus on the beach? There are five sheep hiding in this seaside scene. There's a sheep <laughs> hidden by the shore. I'm sure you can find some more. Right again, you found another hidden sheep. Keep looking for more. Yes, there's a sheep up in the clouds. Try to find some more missing sheep. That's right, you found a sheep right over there. Just one more sheep to find. Where is that hidden sheep? You saw her. Wow, you spotted them all. Super job, gang. Thanks for helping us find those hidden sheep, gang. We couldn't have found them without you. Hey, Buzzer. Now that we've found them, who's going to feed them? Um, good question, Sparky. You didn't happen to see a big bag of oats around here, did you? No, of course not. Uh, I'll just have to look for something. Or... <laughs> I just love doing that. And now I'm proud to present the Bed Bug Bandoliers with their latest, greatest hit, The Bed Bug Dollhouse! So small, you still have plenty of room for all of my dolls. Doll mommy, doll daddy, doll kids and doll pets. We have such fun together and I'll never ever forget my bed book doll house. i 
Thank you, Bedbug Bandoliers, for that beautiful ballad. It gave me just enough time for one more story. This is a great story all about some amazing things that our friend Peter did. Peter sure sounds buzzer busy. Uh, I mean, buzzer buzzy. Uh, mm. Oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> well, while Sparky sorts things out, let's all listen to our next story. It's called Tabitha. Up from a mountain very high, the savior rose into the sky. His friends all waved as off he flew. He'd given them a job to do. There goes Jesus. He's heading to heaven. Go spread my love to all the world, to every boy and every girl. That's just what Jesus said, you see. Let's do it, Peter cheered with glee. Sounds like a fun job. It's what we all can do. So Peter and the other friends all left the mount and off they went. The Lord had left them so inspired, God's love was spreading like a fire. God's love grows and grows. In every town they traveled to, the love of Jesus grew and grew, till folks who'd never seen the Lord were hearing Peter spread the word. This good news is for everyone. You tell them, Peter. When Peter told the sick and lame to rise and walk in Jesus' name, those poor sick folks felt well again. God's mighty word was healing them. God's word is powerful. That's saying a lot. One day, while Peter walked around, two men arrived from Joppa town. Those men were sad. They cried and cried. Their good friend Tabitha had died. Oh, no. It's very sad when someone dies. Oh, Peter, said those two sad men, please come to see our dear dead friend. So Peter went with them that day to see their friend who'd passed away. Peter is going to a funeral. When Peter went into her house, he saw some handmade robes about. He asked, who are these garments for? They said, she made them for the poor. Tabitha made beautiful clothes for the poor. She was a very nice lady. They led him in to where she lay. He knelt down and began to pray. When he was done, he smiled and said, Dear Tabitha, get out of bed. What? She can't get up, Peter. At once, that woman who had died sprang out of bed, eyes open wide. And all the folks that saw it said, The love of God can raise the dead. We all will live again in heaven with Jesus. Now Peter knows, and you do too, that Jesus does great things through you. And just like Peter, you can go and share God's love so it can grow. I'm ready to share. It's fun to share love everywhere. I hope you liked our story. The bedbugs love to tell the story that God gave Peter the power to bring Tabitha back to life again. And the best news of all is that we all will rise to life again in heaven with Jesus. That's the best news I've ever heard. We should share it with everyone. That's just what we did. Well, I'm positively impressed. Let's all sing a song about Peter and Tabitha. We'll help you learn it. Tabitha, Tabitha, she loves the Lord, she loves the Lord. The news of Jesus was being shared to all the people everywhere. And one dear lady who gladly hears is Tabitha. Tabitha, Tabitha, she sadly dies, 
she sadly dies. But Peter comes to see her there. The people say you're late, we fear. He kneels right down and says a prayer for Tabitha. Tabitha, Tabitha. Open your eyes, open your eyes. That's just what Peter said to her. She sits straight up when she has heard. For Jesus' power is in the words for Tabitha. Everyone sing along. Tabitha, Tabitha. She loves the Lord. She loves the Lord. The news of Jesus was being shared to all the people everywhere. And one dear lady who gladly hears is Tabitha. Tabitha, Tabitha. She sadly dies. She sadly dies. But Peter comes to see her there. The people say you're late, we fear. He kneels right down and says a prayer for Tabitha. That's just what Peter said to her. She sits straight up when she has heard. For Jesus' power is in the words for Tabitha. <laughs> Good job. That song was positively perfect. It sure woke me up. Which of these pictures from the Tabitha story is different from all the others? We can start with this picture of Jesus rising to heaven. Which picture is different? Right, this picture is different from all the others. Now, look at this picture of Peter. Which one is different from all the others? Yep, now take a look at this picture of Tabitha's friend. Which one doesn't match? That's right, this friend looks very sad. Now, look at this picture of the robe that Tabitha sewed for the poor. Which robe is different? You got it! Just one to go! Which of these pictures of Tabitha is different from all the others? That's the one! This Tabitha is dancing all around! That's super, gang! That's all the time we have for today, gang. We hope you had fun, and we hope to see you again real soon. And always remember that Jesus loves you very much. Bye-bye!